This episode is brought to you by CuriosityStream, home to thousands of nonfiction documentaries from some of the best filmmakers in the world. Follow the link below to start your free trial today. A hundred years ago, people predicted we'd have flying cars within a century of the first commercial automobiles hitting the streets. Instead, we got an increased population of people who think the world is flat. Despite the mountains of evidence that disprove the idea, a flat Earth does pose some interesting questions for science. How would a non-spherical body handle gravity? How would it orbit the sun? Could we still have an atmosphere? Could you fall off the edge? In this episode, we're going to humor the idea of a flat Earth and see what life would be like on a pancake planet. Let's start with the biggest question, gravity. Scientifically speaking, a flat planet wouldn't form in the first place, or if it somehow did, it would be very short-lived. If you look around the universe, you'll notice all celestial bodies have something in common. They're all roughly spherical. Gravity likes round objects. It pulls matter together in a three-dimensional lump, which ends up forming a giant spheroid. A flat planet would be an incredible anomaly, and would likely collapse inward. But let's assume that Earth was one such planet and it was somehow stable. The force of gravity would pull things toward the center of the flat disk, its center of mass. This would mean that gravity becomes more apparent the further out you go from the center. By the time you reach the very edge of the planet, you would experience the full force of gravity pulling you backwards. Basically, it would feel like you're climbing a very steep yet completely flat mountain. Sounds weird, right? A planet like this would likely encourage civilizations to be built towards the center, where gravity is the most reasonable, and all of the planet's water would collect near the center of mass, leaving a barren ring around the central habitable region. Then outside the barren region, according to Flat Earthers, you'll find a wall of ice surrounding the entire plane, which is pretty cool, even if it is a little ridiculous. Let's move on to how the planet would interact with the sun. This could go a number of ways. First, let's assume that one side or the other is constantly facing the sun, essentially making our flat Earth a tidally locked planet. This would have dire consequences for life. If the back side of the plane was oriented towards the sun, our side of the planet would freeze. But things wouldn't be much better the other way around. If the inhabited side of the planet faced the sun, we would have constant daylight and the planet would likely fry. It would simply be too hot to be habitable. Okay, what if we made the sun orbit around the Earth instead? If the sun orbited the planet like the moon does, we'd still have constant light, but on both sides of the planet. The sun would move in the sky, but we'd have no time zones because the entire surface of the planet is always illuminated. What's more, we'd run into the same problem we had before, with the planet slowly cooking under the sun's rays. What if we had the sun orbit the Earth like this? As the sun traveled around the planet, we would get periods of day and night as the top and bottom sides of the planet are exposed to the sun at different times. In order for this to work, the sun would have to be smaller than it currently is in order to keep the planet from becoming too hot. We also wouldn't have seasons without the axial tilt of a spherical planet. Speaking of spherical planets, without a molten metal core like we currently have, our flat Earth would not generate a geomagnetic field to keep in the atmosphere and protect us from cosmic rays. Without an atmosphere, our planet's water would evaporate and escape into space, we wouldn't have any air to breathe, and we'd constantly be blasted by harmful radiation. In short, we wouldn't be able to survive. But let's assume that some property of our flat planet would generate a magnetic field. That would protect us from cosmic rays and provide a safe environment for the development of a livable atmosphere. Otherwise, our thought experiment is pointless. So, what are some other changes we would experience on a flat Earth? For starters, on a clear day, you could, in theory, see the planet's tallest structures from much further away. For example, you'd be able to see the Wiz Khalifa, wait, the Burj Khalifa, from your front porch. Other changes would be much more troublesome. Since satellites wouldn't be able to orbit a flat plane, we would lose all satellite-based technology. That means no GPS, no stock market, no weather channel, no satellite-based communications, no tracking of space hazards, no satellite TV, no foreign correspondence on the radio, no secure military communications, world leaders would have trouble communicating with each other, leading to heightened global tensions, or I guess they wouldn't be global tensions, planal tensions? Transatlantic flights would lose contact with ATC, international phone calls would fail. Without the highly accurate time from satellites, computer systems would begin to fail as discrepancies between clocks became more prevalent, crippling financial operations, which rely on highly precise timestamps. Without accurate time, systems that rely on computers will begin to collapse, which, in 2020, means basically everything. Power cuts would begin as systems fail to balance demand. Traffic would grind to a halt as traffic lights defaulted to red around the world. Computerized water treatment facilities would revert to manual backups. Eventually, commercial flights would be grounded, farmers who rely on weather forecasts would be left in the dark, and global business would become untenable. And this is all simply because satellites can't orbit a flat plane. But for one final time, let's assume they could. We've made a lot of assumptions in this video, 
the assumption that gravity wouldn't crush the flat earth back into a sphere, that the sun wouldn't burn the planet to a crisp, that we would still somehow have a magnetic field. Even if we allow for all these things, there's still one factor we haven't considered. If the earth really was flat, cats would have pushed everything off by now. If you're interested in learning more about how silly the flat earth idea is, I highly recommend you watch Medieval Images The Earth Was Not Flat on CuriosityStream. It's pretty striking to see that, even back in medieval times, people could tell the earth was round. If you watch my videos, you'll know that I'm a big fan of CuriosityStream. It's an online streaming service with thousands of nonfiction titles from some of the best filmmakers in the game. You can find tons of great episodes like Medieval Images, and they've got a bunch of material on technology and outer space, which are some of my favorites. Their giant catalog includes content on science, nature, astronomy, technology, and lifestyle, among others. Unlimited access starts at just $2.99 a month, and as a special offer just for you guys, you can get a free trial by following the link below. CuriosityStream is available on just about every platform you can imagine, so wherever you are, you'll always have access to great, interesting content. As an added bonus, your CuriosityStream subscription now comes with a free Nebula subscription. Nebula is a new streaming platform built by and for creators like Wendover Productions, Real Engineering, Kurtzgesagt, and of course, Second Thought and many others. It's a place for us to try new things and make original content that just wouldn't be possible on YouTube. Give CuriosityStream a shot and get free access to Nebula when you visit curiositystream.com slash second thought. If you enjoyed this episode, consider dropping a like, if not, a dislike. While you're here, check out some of my other work. I have videos on all sorts of topics, and I bet you'll find something you'll enjoy. Remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more episodes like this one, and click the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.